Hi everybody, it's Miss Atkinson, or you can call me Teacher Leanne. My friends, I'm so glad that you're at Circle Time today because when you're here and we get to do Circle together, it makes me really happy. When we're together, sometimes we do songs, sometimes we do books, and sometimes we... Hmm? My friends, did you hear something? What was that? Hold on, let's listen again. Hear that? My friends, do you know what that was? That was the the doorbell. My friends, do you think something or someone is at the door? Do you want to come see what it is with me? Okay, let's go check it out. Come with me. Okay, let's take a look at what that was. First I have to unlock the door. Okay, and now. Oh! My friends! What is this? I have a super special package. It says, to Teacher Leanne, please open me. Hmm? What do you think, my friends? Do you think we should bring this inside and see what it is? You do? Okay, let's bring it in. Check it out, my friends. It looks like somebody left us a package. It looks like there's a note on it. Do you think we should open it? Okay, let's do it. To Teacher Leanne, please open me. Okay, so I will, do you know how to open an envelope? Ah, we have to lift up the flap and see what's inside. Ooh, my friends. Do you know what this is called when somebody puts um, words into an envelope and sends it to you? It's a letter. Okay, let's see what the letter says. It says, Hi, Teacher Leanne. I'm your biggest fan. I was making this craft and I thought you would like it. You will need a jar, olive oil, water, and maybe glitter or food coloring for extra. The instructions are add the oil, then add the water. After, add the extra things and then you're done. This is from my friend, Julia. My friends, do you know who got this for me? It's my friend, Julia. She has a lot of good arts and crafts ideas, so I think she wanted us to try one of her favorite. My friends, do you wanna try doing this craft that she sent us? You do? Excellent. Okay, let's see what else she put in the box for us. Oh, do you see that? Oh, my friends, it looks like Julia sent us some of the examples of what her craft could look like. This one is water, soap, and then I think there's tin foil inside. Okay, let's see what the next one is. This one, whoa. This one looks like water and oil. Interesting. Okay, let's see if there's any more inside. Ah, oh, one more left. Oh, my friends, what is this one made of? Oh, it's a water bottle with oil and water. My friends, I think this is what Julia wants us to make today. I think this is a great idea. Do you wanna try doing it with me, everyone? Okay, I think we should make this together. Thanks, Julia. Looks like we need a couple things to make this craft. Um, do you remember what we needed? Let's take a look at the letter and see what Julia said. We need a jar, olive oil, and water. So it's okay if we don't have glitter or food coloring, but I think we need those three things. A jar, olive oil, and water. So my friends, I went and got those things from my kitchen. Let me show you. And then after I show you, you could pause the video and you can go to your kitchen with mom and dad and you need to get these things. So let me show you and you can pause the video and go get those so you can make one too. Okay, so this is what I got. I have a container of water. I have a little jar that's clear so that you can see the mixture inside. And then I also have some oil. You can use regular olive oil. You can use um, 
you could use canola oil, you could use any oil that you have. I just happen to be using olive oil. Okay friends, so these are the things that you need, the materials that you need to make this craft today. So now is a good time to pause the video and if you need to go get those things and get mom and dad's help, then you can do that now. Okay, see you in a minute. All right, everybody. So did you get all of your materials? You did? Excellent. Okay, so uh, it could be a little bit of a messy activity. So if you want, you can do it on, on a towel or you can put it outside. Maybe you wanna do it on your kitchen counter. I'm going to be doing it on this large black tray. Uh, that's how I'm going to keep the mess off of my carpet. Okay, so friends, you're going to need to follow the things that I do. And if you need help from mom and dad, that's okay too. Sometimes we need help and that's all right. So the first thing that we need to do is take our jar. Do you have a jar? You can also use a water bottle or maybe you have something different, but mine is a jar that is clear, see-through. Okay, so now we take the lid off like that so that it's open and we can pour things inside. Uh, the next thing that we need to do, oh, it says on our letter, we need to add the oil. Do you remember which one the oil is? Here, which one is the oil? This one, you're right. Okay, so we take the oil and we carefully pour it inside. We don't need to use all of the oil, but we do use, I did use most of it. Okay, so about half of my jar has oil in it. And then the next thing we need to do is add the water. So I'm going to take the water and I'm going to fill the rest of the jar up with that. I'm going to carefully pour and you can do the same thing too. And friends, if you're, if I'm going a little too fast, you can pause the video too and catch up on each step, okay? So the next thing we need to do is add the water. Whoa, take a look at that, my friends. All the way to the top. Wow, take a look at that. My friends, the oil and water don't mix, but the oil has become kind of like little bubbles inside. Okay, and the last thing that we do is, right now, if you have glitter or sprinkles, you can put them in, but I'm just going to close it up. Really tight, maybe you wanna get mom and dad's help for that. And look at that, my friends! We did it! It looks like we made our craft. It's quite beautiful. You can shake it. It's separating again. You can slosh it. You can move it around. You can even add color into it to have different colors inside. Hey friends, I think that this jar helps us to be calm and to focus because when we look at it, we need to pay very close attention to what the oil is doing. My friends, I had a lot of fun making this. How did yours turn out? My friends, if you made a jar of this too, maybe you could send me a video of you making it or a picture of your finished, uh, your finished product. Wow, excellent job, my friends. Give yourselves a huge clap. I'm so proud of you for making that. And my friends, I think we should probably put these things away so that we don't make a mess again on the carpet. Will you come to the kitchen with me so I can put them away? You can, excellent, let's go. Now that we've cleaned up and we've put everything in the kitchen, we can go back to do our goodbye song for Circle. Excellent job, everybody. My friends, I had such a great time at Circle Time today with you. I loved making this craft and I think it was such a great activity that we did. My friends, maybe we should say thank you to Julia for her, for her idea and for sending that package to us so that we could have something new to do today. All right, can everybody on the count of three say thank you, Julia? Ready? One, two, three. Thank you, Julia. Excellent work. Okay, friends, before we say goodbye today, I just wanna check in to see how you're feeling. So I'm going to put on my feeling goggles and you can show me your feeling thumbs. And on the count of three, you show me good, not so good, or sorry, so-so uh, or not so good. Ready? One, 
two, three. Oh, thank you for showing me how you're feeling. It's always nice to be able to share those emotions with other people. Okay, friends, it's time to say our goodbye and then we'll be able to see each other again on Monday. So can you show me your jar one more time and we will do our goodbye song using our jar like this. Ready? One, two, three. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, friends. We'll see you on Monday.